this is a hot topic at the moment because inflation is so high. So if you had a building that spent $150,000 on painting five years ago and it needed to paint again, that project might cost $300,000 now. If you're saving for projects in your sinking fund, you're saving based on an estimated cost of a project. And as inflation impacts the cost of building materials and steel and paint and everything, those projects will be more expensive than probably what you anticipated they would be which means the amount of money you need in the sinking fund is constantly increasing to keep up. There's no one balance required for a sinking fund. It does depend on how many lots you've got, what you've got in the building that will need repair, and then what your current balance is. So if you've had a great run of the last five years, you haven't really needed to spend much because everything's worked correctly and you haven't had any surprises, you're going to be in a better position than a building which had a big storm and had to fix roofs and had to fix the driveway before it thought it needed to. That building would have spent more money out of the fund than it anticipated and would therefore have less remaining funds. So that is assessed every five years by a quantity surveyor. We don't decide what you need in your sinking fund. It is done by an expert engaged by your body corporate and they set those levies and then the body corporate just brings in that money and puts it in the savings account.